Flipping different items on Facebook is a ridiculously easy way to make a lot of cash, but it's also kind of tricky. Over time of selling stuff on there, I found that there's five things you need to keep in mind in order to make the most amount of money and actually beat out the other guys that are doing the same thing. Stick around to the end of this video because I'm not only going to give you an advantage, but I'm going to give you the exact blueprint on how I've sold tons of random stuff for a lot of money. Stuff like mini fridges, couches, microphones, chairs, tables, bikes, and even a $65,000 mobile home. As you can tell, today's going to be a different kind of video. I am going to be giving you guys an entire full blueprint of how I sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace for money. Facebook Marketplace is just kind of my go-to. There's a lot of different apps you can sell stuff on, but Marketplace is where I've like sold vehicles, sold townhomes, sold mobile homes, sold everything that you can think of. I also sell a lot of my services on there. So today I'm gonna give you guys the entire breakdown, the five tips that I always use every time I wanna sell an item. It's super easy and if you follow it, you can sell a lot of your junk and make money. This bike is just a Max Care stationary bike. Uh, I picked it up on the side of the road a couple years ago for like no money, literally free. So anything I sell this for, I am going to claim as a profit. So to start the entire process, I'm going to go ahead and open up Facebook. And my number one tip is to take good and strong pictures. So just for example, I'm going to show you guys that you can sell this with pretty low effort. Even an item such as this, it's kind of a small low ticket item, so it should sell well. But if you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments from all of your customers for free, then check out QuadIQ in the App Store and the Google Play Store, or you can try any paid tier right now for just $1 at myquadiq.com, which is going to be the first link in the comment section and the description. Also, if you sign up for any tier for a year using my link, you're going to get a free coaching call with me. I went ahead and took four pictures. Um, they're not going to be super crazy, but we're going to go in and I... Go into my Facebook now, super easy interface. You go into Facebook Marketplace and you're just gonna enter the pictures in right here. And now I'm gonna save that. And I'm gonna go back and now we're gonna do some research and see how much I can sell this for. Next one is gonna be pricing. Your pricing is gonna be super important because the higher you have your product, obviously people are probably not gonna message you, especially if you're trying to move stuff through really fast. So they have one right here for $175. It's a little nicer than the one that I have. Mine is probably an older one. So they have another one for $100. That's a recumbent bike. $80, $85, $100. This, it's also a stationary bike, but a little bit nicer. $75 for a trash one. $150. So we know that we're kind of in that $100, maybe like $70 to like $100 range if I really wanted to get rid of it. So I'm probably going to go for maybe, or I'm going to shoot for $100. Based on my pricing, I'm probably going to expect for somebody to shoot back another price a little bit lower. People are going to want to know your lowest price because they want the best product for the lowest amount of money. So I'm probably going to post it up at $110. If I get a bite, I get a bite. There's not a lot in my area. So we're going to go back in to my save draft and now we're gonna title it max care stationary bike because you want people to be able to find it based on title max care stationary bike cool we're gonna throw the price up there 110 dollars the category i never really care that much and then i usually just put used like new maybe i'll go good maybe okay i'll go use the good maybe you probably shouldn't throw like some crazy stuff out there this third tip that I would really go over is description. So you want to really sell the person on what you're selling to them. I like to use emojis. Uh, I just feel like it has, you know, it adds a little bit of difference. So I'm going to say well taken care of. Only used a couple times. I'm pick up now. I, it's a bike, so it's not like a super... Uh, super expandable thing. There's not a lot of stuff that I could say about it, right? There's, I, if you guys really wanted to go deeper into it, you could put some more effort in, but I just want to show that it's like a nice post. I'm probably like a, I don't know, an easygoing person. If I have like a nicer description rather than something lazy or no description at all, I might even put my area, but I'm probably not a uh, brand. I'm probably not even going to add it to be completely honest. It might not be optional. Let's see. I think it is optional. Okay, so now we have our pictures, we have our title, we have our pricing, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it up here. I'm not gonna put my address or anything like that. So I'm not gonna add my location. The customer's not gonna be able to see it anyway, but I am gonna go to local pickup only. Uh, you can have somebody come to your house if you really wanted to. That's kind of how I've done all of my deals, but it really just depends on you. If you wanna meet somebody in a public place, there's a lot of stuff that I've sold that's bigger and I can't just meet somebody in a public place. Like they have to meet me here. So that's gonna be one part of it. Next, 
because I post a lot on Facebook, they don't want to, they don't want me in there. I'm just gonna add it to as many groups as I can, over 20,000. This way that you really get a lot of outreach, that's probably gonna be my tip number four, is to push it out to as many people as possible. This way, you're in high demand, right? A lot of people are gonna, like, I'm posting it to over 20 groups with so 20,000 people in each one. That's a lot of people. If you really added it up, you're getting your people, you're getting this out to as many people as possible. So, now that we got everything posted up, there's gonna be a couple tips on the back end of how this is gonna work. So, you have a very strong chance now of getting this sold, even an item as small as this, as easy as this, I sold the mini fridge in the exact same way, very low effort, but also you're taking advantage of everything. You have really good pricing based off of research. You have really good pictures. I say really good. You have decent pictures compared to everybody else is lazy and they're not taking their time to take the pictures, get different angles, get a good description. And they're also not pricing it with the thought in mind that somebody else is gonna message them and want to give them a lower price. So if you put the price you want, somebody's gonna drop you down below what you want. Also, if you put the price too high, then one's gonna hit you. So find a good medium, and then you're probably gonna get like $10 taken off, great. So give yourself some wiggle room. So after the fact, you're gonna get a lot of people messaging you, they're gonna slide up on your Facebook post, they're gonna message you and say, is this available? That's the automatic message that gets sent out every single time. So whenever you're getting told, is this available? You always have to say yes, respond very quickly. Your response time is gonna change how fast you can sell this item always. So if you have stuff around your house or I used to go and do couch flipping, I would go to like thrift stores and they have couches in there for like $10. Go back, sell the thing for $100, $150. That's $140 profit. This is a side hustle. This is not a career. So $140 easily, not a problem. Not a lot of effort. Somebody comes and picks it up for you. You can even have, you can say that you'll deliver it if they would pay you more money. That's another option to put in the description. Also, finally, be careful. There's a lot of people that are going to message you through Facebook. It's such a wide range, especially if you're pushing it out to groups. So the biggest issue is you're gonna find people that are sketchy, people that are dangerous. I had one that I, somebody messaged me and then I looked at his profile and he was a pedophile. So he actually had to disclose in his Facebook profile that he was. And then there was another one where it was a guy holding a gun in his profile picture. And then he had a ton of posts about like gang stuff. So be careful, always be mindful that people could be trying to scam you. People could be trying to do this, that, the other. Just be very mindful of who's messaging you and you should make it out perfectly and like I just showed you, it's a very simple process and it's gonna make you a ton of money if you keep doing it over and over. Rinse and repeat, you'll get better. If you guys wanna learn how I've made thousands of dollars with low ticket services like trash can cleaning and mobile detailing, check out the second link in the comment section description. There you're gonna gain access to our school community. In the community, we have multiple courses, including my own course on trash can cleaning, as well as the course that I explain how I've got my first $10,000 in clients for completely free. In the community, you're also gonna get access to the before and after pictures that I use to land these jobs, as well as an entire community full of like minded individuals who wanna start these low ticket services. So if you're ready to get started, check out the second link in the comment section description. We're running a special discount for the first couple of people that do join. So if you wanna lock it in at the cheapest price and get the most value, join today.